Hi, I'm Whitney Callen. I'm a coach. I wanted to talk a little bit about Love Cards by Robert Lee Camp. This is a book that I've been studying and giving readings from for quite some time. And I type them up so frequently that I wanted to do some videos. So that all I have to do now is send out the video. Um, what I love about these um, readings with the Love Cards is it's based on the tarot, the book of playing cards. We're going to do the Eight of Diamonds today called the Sun card. And all you have to do is find the date of your birth and the month here. And then you flip into what the card is. Now, most people have a planetary ruling card as well. And I found that for me, the planetary ruling card is truer in some, sen some senses than the other card for me. So back here on this page, it's going to tell you what birthday you have if you are this card. And it'll tell you what your planetary ruling card is. So if your birthday lands on January 19th, February 17th, March 15th, April 13th, May 11th, June 9th, July 7th, August 5th, September 3rd, or October 1st, then you, my dear, are the Eight of Diamonds, the Sun card. As the Sun card, the Eight of Diamonds has the opportunity to rise to great heights in this life. Regardless of whether they make the move for great fame, they are always respected and looked up to in their work. They love to shine and be noticed by others, and they have a great deal of leadership ability. These people are powerful and can be dominating if their power becomes an addiction. Much of their karma is worked out through power and control struggles with others. They dislike being controlled and try to maintain power in their relationships. The aid power and position in the crown line gives them an independent and sometimes pushy nature. In any case, they know what everything is worth and can drive a hard bargain. Sounds like a good negotiator. The Eight of Diamonds power means having and spending money. Eight of Diamonds often get such a rush from spending money that it can become something of an addiction. The, eight, the male and female Eight of Diamonds are especially known to be able to spend huge sums of money quickly. I think that's probably true for most people. But Eight of Diamonds, you're on it. These are the power shoppers of the deck. The slogan, when the shopping gets tough, the tough go shopping was probably written by an Eight of Diamond. They can achieve anything through hard work and the application of their inherent intuition. When they learn to direct their power back towards themselves and their personal transformation and stop trying to change the world, they can attain the lasting peace of inner power and self-mastery. The key words of their Queen of Spades karma card. They have good minds and a keen desire to learn new things. If they are willing to work for it, there is little they cannot achieve and few problems they cannot overcome. They have the power to conquer and rule, and as long as it is not misused, it will bring them satisfaction. Some Eight of Diamonds are afraid or unwilling to take on the responsibility that comes with this power, and thus forfeit much of their God-given talent and potential. In love, some of the Eight of Diamonds issues concerning relationships. The independent changeable nature of the Eight of Diamonds may resist marriage, or in other cases, they continually attract others who cannot make a commitment. Many Eight of Diamonds practice serial monogamy. They have three, four, five, or more marriages. In truth, they have a need for variety in love. They often cannot be satisfied by one person. They must learn to give others freedom to, of expression without trying to change them. They also need to learn to accept themselves as they are and learn how to give themselves the love they seek from others. Their Ace of Spades and Seven of Hearts Pluto and Cosmic Reward card tells us that in, it is in releasing their fears of abandonment and by not using their abundance of power to bully their loved ones that they have some of the greatest challenges. As a rule, they know what they want and are willing to go after it. What they want will unfortunately eventually change. In most cases, it is wise for them to always place their careers in front of relationships. They usually lose some of their power when they try to make a relationship more important than their work. Both sexes fare better with those of the club suit. Adopting a less attached view of love brings them many blessings. So let's look at the generalities between the personality card connections. The generalities, most of the stuff I would say is a generality, um, but I hope you're pulling things that land for you.
The eight of diamond women are best suited for marriage to a spade male, especially if he is accomplished and powerful. Heart males provide a lifetime friendship. The eight of diamond male is often sought by heart females and he receives blessings from club females. He may find greatest compatibility with spade females, though it is important to examine the birth card connections on an individual basis before drawing any conclusions. So that's the end of our reading for the beautiful sun card, Eight of Diamonds. Now, Eight of Diamonds Women is at the bottom here. If you're interested, this landed. Remember Robert Lee Camp. It's a great book. He has another book I really like as well. Um, I use this when I am in business with people or relationship and I want to learn more about them. I think it's a pretty powerful tool and uh, people seem to like it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.